the very first day it was almost by surprise. I stayed in a hotel and I could hear a phone going off. I didn't sleep well and I finally answered it and it was a hotel saying look if I don't check out in the next 10 minutes I was going to be charged another day. So I grabbed my stuff, I ran out the door when I realised I didn't actually have anywhere to go and that was the first kind of time I realised I'm homeless and I didn't actually have anywhere. When I first met Danny and Siobhan, both were keen to show how their circumstances had changed from living in rented accommodation with a steady income to being on the streets. They wanted to tell their story in the hope of guiding others in a similar position. Okay, what, are you recording? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well basically, um, I was married, I had a career, I had my own flat, I had a car and everything. I was in a really dark place and I tried to take my life and I was lucky enough to survive it but I had massive injuries and I was in hospital for months. After that I had a lot of medication I was on. It took about three years for the doctors to slowly bring me down off my medication but what I didn't realise is I was addicted to morphine which is a medical version of heroin. and. Unfortunately, when you're detoxing, you don't think straight. And after a few attempts at detoxing, I got offered something on the street that I was just desperate to not feel ill anymore. And about five years later, I'm now addicted to street morphine, which is, you know, heroin. It is so hard to actually break that barrier now of getting back into society and, you know, actually being taken seriously. You know, a couple of times we thought maybe this is it, we're going to be able to do it, but it's never quite worked. Me and my girlfriend, we're hoping 2020 is our year. Danny got £10 earlier. I've made about £3, so it's not enough to stay in a hotel, but we can get a hot meal and some coffee and stuff in the morning. So. Well, over Christmas was really nice because everyone was just so nice and giving and friendly and the children really liked hearing the music, like the Christmas songs and it was more the kids that wanted to give me money than the adults, which I'm not trying to like feed on that, but it was really nice to see that they actually enjoyed the music. I think because I'm playing a recorder, they can all relate to it because they play it at school and stuff, so they straight away they like it. I just think that it's good that I'm actually trying to do something rather than just sitting there with my hand out asking for help. I'm actually trying to give something back to them as well. It's so expensive down here. When we were up Sheffield, we could have afforded to live, but because we didn't have local connection up there, the council wouldn't help us, and we couldn't really find anywhere suitable. To come back down here, it's such a shock that breakfast alone is double the price if it's in Sheffield, and like the housing costs, you can get a room down here for the same price you can get a three-bedroom house up there. And although this is where Danny's from, that's why he wants to be down here, where his mum, his mum's here and everything, it's just so expensive. That's what, I think that's why there's so many homeless people. After several months, I caught up with a couple again to see how they were getting on. And this, if every homeless person knew about this, they'd all be here, you know. The only downside is you're living with rats. Right, is he down there? That's where we, that's where we live. <laughs> we live. You said you had a problem with rats? Yeah, every night, every single night. The bang, like, that's the problem. You, normally, that wouldn't be there, and the mattress should be on top, we'll be sleeping in that corner. I have my girlfriend in the far corner, and then I'm on this side, but, like, they, they scutter in, and then you have to bang the wall. It's horrible. I'm not talking little mice, I'm talking rats. And uh, that is guaranteed. That is not, you know, if it's a bad night, you'll get it. Yeah, it's guaranteed. You, you're going to have 20, 30 times you're going to have to scare rats off and that before you manage to fall asleep. I'm disabled. I should be housed. I shouldn't have to resort to this. You know, it's not fair. What employer is ever going to want me? I've got no self-confidence now because of it all. You know, makes you feel like shit. This is what life's turned to. How would you like to be remembered? 
just the fact that in one way I've had everything and then another way I've lost everything and I'd like to think one day I've rebuilt everything and more. Four months on the streets, one month with the help of the charity. Your time is now. Your yeah, time is now. Place. And we're here. We've got, We've got the got keys. It's moving in, Dave. Are you sure you're going around? That one's open. and hopefully someone like you guys might come along one day. <laughs> 